warning. If the topic of psychological manipulation and emotional enslavement of women offends you, I want you to stop watching this video. And if you want to continue, you must agree never to use this knowledge to hurt women. Deal? Great. Let's start. Okay, I'll be completely honest here. What I am about to show you here will piss a lot of people off. If you're easily offended by the idea of seducing married women or cuckolding someone's husband, then you might want to go elsewhere. This stuff is not politically correct by any measure, and it can get pretty controversial. If you're still here, understand that once you learn this knowledge, you must use it at your discretion. In other words, you'll agree that you'll be responsible for your own actions. Don't blame me if her angry husband turns up at your door at 3 a.m. with a beer bottle in one hand and a baseball bat in the other. Agree? Okay, great. Before we start, do this for me. Scroll down, find the red like button below the video, and click it. Click like because that'll make me create even more of these videos for you. Do that now. Done clicking like? Excellent. Let's start, all right? So you're attracted to a woman at work. You've developed a real liking for her. Heck, you might have even fallen in love with her. You want to spend a lot of time with her, and you've even imagined getting her in the sack. First, let's get something out of the way. You see, lots of people frown on the idea of going after another man's wife or girlfriend. They say that it's immoral and unethical to seduce a woman who's already attached. Here's the deal. Your morals or ethics are none of my business. If you're looking for a hardcore how to seduce a married woman at work knowledge, then I'll share that with you. Personally, I don't have any problems with this because of three reasons. One. You're not forcing her to do anything. It'll be up to her to decide if she wants to be with you. Two, you're giving her a choice. If anything, her marriage is probably crappy and she's already looking for a way out. Who knows? You might just be the savior she's waiting to turn up in her life. Three, she might well be happier with you. If you want her to be happy and you know that you can make her happy, you'll do it. Look, I'm offered the sanctity of marriage and all that shit. But remember that she deserves to be happy. And if you're sure that you can make her happier than her deadbeat husband, you'll do it in a heartbeat. Makes sense, right? And you know what? People who'd crucify you for getting attracted to a married woman are probably cheaters themselves. The world is not short of hypocrites these days. Who cares about them? Also, understand that it's not your fault. You're only responding to your natural instincts that you were born with. This is a natural and normal behavior as a man, and you should not be ashamed of it. Now, with that out of the way, I want you to completely understand what you're getting yourself into here. I'll shit you not. Hitting on a married woman is already challenging on its own. The fact that you're doing it at work makes it doubly complicated. You see, if you screw it up, it's going to be super awkward, especially if you're working with her directly and you need to see and deal with her every day. Worse, you might even be slapped with a sexual harassment lawsuit and get fired. Make no mistake here, the danger is real. Therefore, before you make your first move, you must be sure that she's interested in you first. Well, she doesn't need to be completely head over heels in love with you. You only need to check if she has developed a liking for you and she's open to, you know, this sort of thing. At this point, I gotta warn you. If you're her boss, then be extra cautious because she might be faking it just to get brownie points for her career. Once you've got the basic groundwork done, then follow these three simple steps that I am going to share with you next. Step number one, understand her motivation. Understanding her situation and motivation will greatly enhance your ability to seduce her. Now, if she has shown you some signs that she's interested, then she may fall into one or more of these categories. 1. Her marriage is failing. 2. Her husband is away most or all of the time. 3. She's horny and her husband can't fulfill her sexual needs. 4. Her husband's a cheater. 5. She's in an open relationship. Take a mental note of this and move on to the next step. Step number two, deliver the five reassurances. 
a woman will be ready to cheat with you if you can give her these five reassurances. One, it's not her fault and it's entirely because of you that she cheats. Two, she won't need to leave her husband, at least in the shorter term. Three, you'll understand and won't judge her. Four, you won't tell other people, especially her coworkers and friends. Five, you won't cling on to her or stalk her. Consider those as boxes you need to tick as you seduce her. So here's what you need to do. When you're with her at work, use every opportunity to reassure her. For example, you can say, remember the time when something screws up at work and you get blamed for it? It's not your fault at all, and you know it. Sometimes this happens outside work. Maybe, for example, you meet someone interesting and you want to spend time with him. Isn't it natural just to want to be with him? It's nothing wrong at all. Easy, right? Once you've delivered the five reassurances, then seal the deal by taking the third step, which I am going to talk about next. Step number three, use fractionation on her. Fractionation is a mind control technique which you can use to make a woman feel emotionally addicted to you. You can pretty much use fractionation on anyone, but it works especially well with married women. Why? Well, it's because of this reason. The more emotional baggage a woman has, the deeper the fractionation effect will get. And guess what? A married woman will have more emotional baggage than you can shake a stick at. This means that she's more vulnerable to fractionation than, say, a carefree teenager. You shouldn't be using mind control on a teenager anyway. Even better, you'll have lots of shared experiences with her at the workplace because you spend time with her every day. This will help you craft powerful fractionation stories which you can use to seduce her. Look here, this video is getting a little longer than usual and because of that, I can't share with you the fractionation technique in detail right now. Continue watching this video to the end where I will share a resource on how to use fractionation on a woman in full. Okay? When used correctly, fractionation can get a woman under your control, enslave her, and make her fall in love with you far quicker than the usual pickup artist tricks. I have to warn you though that it is not possible to undo the effects of fractionation. Once you have enslaved a woman using this technique, dumping her will cause irreparable damage to her psychology. Therefore, please use this technique responsibly and ethically. To learn how you can use Shogun Method and Fractionation to manipulate a woman's mind and enslave her to you emotionally, go to FractionationHypnosis.com or click on this link right now.